Someone invited you here to, to look at this thing called Daxi. Is that true? Who wants to talk about Bitcoin? Yeah. Do you think that Bitcoin's got a really good deal? Yeah, it's, it's a good deal, isn't it? Pretty solid, pretty safe, pretty secure. But we want to get that really big growth factor in our portfolios, get some money relatively quick to what other cryptos are doing. Okay, so what Daxi's whole business is around is not Bitcoin. We're leveraging Bitcoin to create a really big community around the world. Because people want to know about Bitcoin so we can teach them about Bitcoin. But ultimately, the price of Bitcoin is going to plateau off. We want to teach you to be learning along here about other ways of generating money within cryptocurrency so you don't get blindsided and be back where you are right now. Who's had a bank account that hasn't moved for 12 months? Well, who's got a bank account? That should be asked that. <laughs> not many people got bank accounts anymore, but if your bank account hasn't moved for 12 months, it's because you're not looking and learning about other ways of generating passive income. Okay, so I want to prepare you not to get blindsided here and go, well, how am I going to make money passively? Who knows the definition of financial freedom? There's lots of them. I'm not going to ask everyone individual. My definition of financial freedom is when your passive income generation is beyond your ability to spend it. So if you make $200,000 a year passively and you spend $190,000 a year, you are financially retired to make a choice about what you do from Monday to Sunday, or Monday to Friday, or Monday to Monday, whatever the case may be. So passive income is how you should be making money because it allows you to have time freedom, because that is financial freedom, time freedom. Not locking up income generation to, a, to time. Right, so passive income is what I want to do. So what Daxi's done, they're leveraging this Bitcoin growth to develop a community. Now, there's going to be an evolution of cryptocurrency exchange around the world now. So what is going to happen, there's going to be a point where the government's going, you know what, this $3 trillion industry's got to be looked at a bit more seriously. So the government's going to say, where is the money? Not particularly, you know, where is your money, but where is your money stored? What is your money being used for? Is your money stored safely? Because they want to make sure that you're, you are protected. So they're going to put in pretty strong legislation and protecting your income, and that's a good thing. Okay, so what Daxi's done, they do local exchanges. Okay, so we've got Daxi Australia, Daxi UK, and for the remainder of this year, there'll be another 50 local exchanges. Then we'll move up to 100. And then we'll move up to 200 exchanges globally because you can probably go down to Daxi Queensland, Daxi Shenzhen in China, you know, individual province, province Daxis. Because you can make them that small because of the way that we do our tech. So all these exchanges here will store the coins that you have on them locally. So that'll be happy with the government. All the exchanges here have financial services licenses so they can they can list all the thousands of different varieties of cryptocurrency use cases. Some are currencies, some are equities, some are loans, some are financial instruments, some are ownerships of something or another. So you need to have a, a license to store all these types of, of, of coins. Because the coins aren't like shares, they're like shares and more. So this is really important to have this local licensing, local ownership, local storage idea. Daxi is set up for that. So there's going to be a point in the future, not too far away, where the really big global exchanges all around the world, whatever the shape things are around the world, these exchanges here are going to be asked the question, where is Alora's Bitcoin? Where is it stored? And you're on the Binance Exchange or the CoinSpot Exchange or the Kraken Exchange, and they're going to go, oh, Jimmy Tao in Shanghai, he controls your coin in Shanghai. Do you think the Australian government's going to like that? 
how all your money is not stored on shores, you know, it's stored over in Beijing or Detroit or Toronto or Johannesburg. Do you think the Australian government's going to like that? Or the Korean government? Or the Taiwanese government? They're going to want their coins stored locally. So a lot of these big global companies are going to have to transition away from doing what they're doing into a local structure. And if they can't, then they're going to have to drop you as a customer. We've had many global exchanges now drop countries out of their customer base. They say, give you two months, take all your coins off the exchange and move into another one. And in some cases, some of those coins aren't listed anywhere else. And you're holding a million dollars worth of zippity doodah coin, you can't transfer it to another exchange because it's not listed anywhere else. You don't have any money anymore. That's worthless. Is it worth the risk? So what's happening here is you're going to have this locally licensed idea really become more relevant as the years come on. So you need to make sure that when you get involved with an exchange and get involved with crypto that they're going to fit into some legislative changes that are logical that we're going to be implemented very soon. So making sure that you get involved with an exchange that's got an A plus security rating so you can check that on mozilla.observatory.org. Right? Check it, see if it's got good security, number one. It's got to have good customer support. Who, who's forgotten the password before? Right. Who, who's used Google Authenticator and had to get a new phone and forgot how to transfer Google Authenticator over? Like if you screw up like that on these really big exchanges, good luck, it'll take you months if not years to get access to your money again. It's locked up, gone away until they eventually get around it to allow you to have access to it. So you need to make sure that you've got those two things to look after your account to make sure you get access to your money. And I like what we do with the Daxi platform. You've got community. Where you can go along, meet like-minded people, get to know like-minded people, help like-minded people, get involved with cryptocurrency, store their coins right, learn how the industry is evolving and get involved with what's happening in the industry right now. So I like what we do here, making sure it's all local. So who likes that idea? Mm -hmm. Welcome to my world. <laughs>